Hola, mi nombre es Jasmine y estoy hablando del condado de Washington. Contact tracing is something public health departments have been doing for years. I think I like to start to explain this a, a lot like um, what firefighters do. So firefighters have tools that they use to put out fires. And contact tracers have tools to control the spread of disease, including coronavirus. Their first tool is the case interview. Testing labs in Oregon are required to enter names of people who've tested positive into a state database. Contact tracers then pull these names every day and start calling. So if someone tests positive for coronavirus in um, Oregon, or they have symptoms of coronavirus and have had uh, recent contact or exposure to someone who did test positive, we begin with public health interviewing that person. If you test positive, you can expect questions about your symptoms and severity of illness, also about your race, ethnicity, and other health conditions, and who you live and work with. This helps us decide who's actually getting more ill from the virus than other people. It helps us um, figure out how quickly it's spreading to other people. Um, so that data collection is a really important tool that we use in public health to help put out this fire with coronavirus. The second tool is contact notification. You'll be asked to provide names and numbers of people you've had close contact with over the last few days. This is so contact tracers can also call these people to let them know they've been exposed to coronavirus. Contact tracers will then ask you and your close contacts to stay home for 14 days. Let's say, I'm not sick. I feel fine. I feel good. I want to go out. I want to go support our businesses. I want to go be part of this community again. But I was exposed to a case. If I have the best interest of the community at heart, I will stay home as requested by public health because with this virus, you can spread it before you know you're sick. But what if you have to go to work to pay rent and buy food? Public health departments will help. We will find the resources and the support to make sure that everyone has basic needs met, food, shelter, so that they can voluntarily protect themselves and protect the rest of the community through isolation and quarantine. Contact tracers work for public health departments, not for the federal government. They will never ask you for your social security or credit card number or for your immigration status. Just like firefighters, they are doing their job to protect you and your community. Thank you.